गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सिमिलिंग ट्यूटोरियल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू जनरेट एस फंक्शन यूजिंग लेगेसी टूल सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग अहेड लेट्स सी व्हाट आर द प्री रिक्विजिट ऑफ जनरेटिंग एस फंक्शन सो फर्स्ट एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग देयर शुड बी अ सी कंपाइलर इंस्टॉल्ड ऑन योर सिस्टम प्लस इट शुड बी इन योर मैटलैब इंस्टॉल्ड पैकेज सो टू चेक व्हिच कंपाइलर यू हैव टाइप सेटअप कमांड दैट इज this max setup in command window so if there is no compiler installed on your system it will show that there is no com no compatible compiler is installed on your system so if it is not installed then install the compiler i have installed mjw 4.9.2 because that's the one you need in matlab 610 so to add it in your matlab environment type command and again check so the command is set environment then variable name and the path of folder of the compiler that is installed in your c drive so if you don't understand what exactly i'm doing here you can just go to help and check troubleshooting and limitations compiling c or c++ makes files with minjw so there you can see how to install the compiler and how to bring it in matlab environment so now check if the install compiler is working for your setup so try to compile dot c file if it gets compiled successfully no issue if not then download and install another setup of compiler so just type this command that is copy file and it will copy y prime dot c in your current folder which is already in matlab so it just gets copied to your current folder then try to compile the file so type command max y prime dot c so max completed successfully so it is working properly so that's how you can check if your compiler is working properly or not so coming back to generating s function so clc so what is s function so s function lets you bring your c code in matlab environment so when you have mathematical equation for your code and instead of developing model with different blocks you want one general purpose block you can use s function so to do that we have dot c file and header file so the code is simple addition program double add underscore to add underscore to is a function name then the in parenthesis the arguments then again in parenthesis the actual body of the function that is double c which will be the output so c is equal to a plus b and written c and in header file a simple format that is if not define header file define and then the declaration of the function and end so what you should have is simple c program files okay so to generate s function the first command is definition is equal to legacy code initialize okay so it will initialize the structure for the s function so what this initialize command will do that it will generate a structure called 
definition so it will have different attributes like s function name then header file source file and the output function specification so let's see one by one how they work proceeding with commands so the second command is Control C. Def dot is function name. So it will have the is function name that you want to give. So I'm just keeping it new underscore one. Enter. So is function name is added. Then output function specification. So def dot output function specification in quotes it's the defined format so output is equal to the function name and the arguments of function so again you have to give these parameters names as y1 u1 and u2 only because if you give them randomly as a b c it will throw an error when you proceed with next command so always remember that you have to write in the format of y and u only okay so enter then the next command is to add header and source file so df dot header dot header file so my header file is add underscore lib dot h enter then the source file so main dot c Okay, so we are done with its function name, output function specification, header file, and source file. So next is legacy code is function cmix generate. So enter. So you can see here there is this new underscore one dot c file in your current folder. It generates a C code for your S function. So the next command is legacy underscore code in parenthesis compile. So we have to compile this S function dot C file. So enter. and the mix completed successfully so next what you have to do is in simulink model type s function so select s function Okay. And then add the name of this function. The S function name. Apply. Okay. So you can see here now there are two inputs to this S function block. So to check if our S function is working properly or not, it two constant blocks. Okay. And 
and one display block okay change the value of constant so you can be sure that it is working so 5 plus 1 6 so that's how you generate s function using c file so that's all for this video if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thank you guys thank you for watching